Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is called The Ripple Effect of Kindness. Okay, so let's go straight into it. What happens when we're kind to other people? Now, if you've been following me for a while and you've emailed me privately or whatever, my email is below if you do want to talk to me privately, okay? You would know that this has been a well-organized event for the past two years, right? You've got to know it, okay? There are reasons why they needed us to be a certain part away from each other. If you know what I'm talking about here, one and a half and then you add meters. They needed us to do that because we all have an aura. And guess how far outside of us our aura operates? That same distance, okay? So I want you to piece some things together today, okay? So when we are happy, let's say today we're going to buy a brand new car. You know that excitement that we get? where you oh yeah I think I'm gonna go and buy this car today oh 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 okay yeah I am I am <gasps> yes I am I'm going to buy this car today I'm going to go and buy that car today guess what we're building inside of ourselves when we do that it's called dopamine levels now dopamine d-o-p-a-m-i-n-e dopamine go research it it's actually our happy drug okay so what happens is when we build our own dopamine or our happy thoughts they emit in they come into us and they excrete out of us as a pheromone okay if pheromones are what is like a scent it comes out of us and other mammals like humans pick it up okay so when we're in a good, happy mood, other people get attached to that, okay? If you've got a person who's in a really good mood and he or she goes into a room where people are just, oh yeah, how's your day? Guess what he's going to do, or she? Guess what that person's going to do when, he, when they walk into that other room? He's going to, or she, will burst in. Oh, I'm going to buy a new car today. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm going to buy a new car today. Those other people are going to pick up on that pheromone, that happy thought. Okay. Oh my God, he's getting a new car today. Oh, wow, I wish I was getting a new car today. See the ripple effect here? It goes from one to the other. It causes... A frequency effect because that's what it's called a ripple a ripple is a frequency if you look at frequencies on graphs etc they always do a ripple effect like that so when we're in a happy mood we're actually emitting that to other people around us so right now I'm going to do a little experiment are you ready I'm going to go out today and I'm going to go up to my local mall and I'm going to walk around the shops for about an hour. I've afforded myself about an hour. Retail therapy. I'm going to walk into this shop. I'm going to walk into that. Oh my God, there's a big rug shop up there. I'm going to go in there and feel all their nice soft rugs. Oh my God, there's a bed in place. <coughs> I'm going to walk in there and look at all their doona covers, pillows. Oh, those big fluffy pillows. You know those big Mediterranean sized pillows that you can put on the bed? Oh my God, oh, there's also, there's a big furniture shop in there that sells antique furniture. Oh, I'm going to go in there today too and look at all the weird, oh my God, the cupboards, the tables, the mirrors, the doors. Oh my God, all those old antiquities, jewellery. Oh, they've got all that in there. I'm going to go look at all of that. Oh my God, I'm getting excited. Do you want to come with me? Let's go and have this event today where we just look around and shop and just Look at all this stuff. How are you feeling now? You're feeling it, aren't you? You can't deny it. You really can't. Because it's true. It's, it's science. This is science. Science stipulates that when I'm excited, even though you're sitting 
anywhere on the planet, my pheromones go through my computer screen, through the Wi-Fi systems or internet, <laughs> attaches to your home internet or business internet, wherever you are, or your phone in your car as you're driving. It comes out and it attaches to you wherever you are on the planet. If that just worked and you thought, damn, I actually did feel something there. I felt something. It doesn't mean that you have to be, oh! but if you just felt something, what I'd like you to do is hit the, the um, like button. If you've just felt something at all with that little experiment that I just did, I'd like you to press the like button. Because that like, other people will see those likes and guess what happens from those likes? People are also getting attached to that kindness. Okay? So how do we get this ripple effect of kindness out there to others? If you go into a room and people are, yeah, how's your day going? Go in there and say, oh, my day's great. I woke up. That's always a good thing. I had my breakfast. I had my coffee. I did this. I did that. Uh, everything I do is always a good thing. I did a big poo this morning. Yay! Celebration time! Whatever it is that you've done, acknowledge it and be grateful for it. Because as soon as we are grateful and we appreciate even the smallest things in life, guess what? We're building that within us as a dopamine level. And then that excretes out of us and it goes to others. Now, let's just go there. If I walked into a room right now, let's just say I'm in a big office building and there's a conference room. You know the conference room with the big oval tower, um, table. There's about 12 people sitting there. I walk in there and they're all thrilling. There you go. And I walk in and I say, man, I'm so happy I did the biggest poo this morning. They're all going to start laughing, aren't they? You bet they're going to start laughing. Because bingo, that's the ripple effect of me. One, I'm being honest, we all do poos every day. Most of us anyway, okay? So it's just a natural bodily function that we do. But I'm acknowledging it to get that reaction of my kindness, which is me being kind to pick up their their pheromones within themselves of their dopamine levels so they come out of that meeting and it's like oh man i was in such a good mood at that meeting now they go off and have a great productive day they'll probably go home at the end of that day walk into their wife give her a big kiss or their partner big kiss hey kids scratch the dog start making dinner and they might be even singing a song and they don't even understand why they're still in a good mood and it all had to do with that ripple effect that some other person created. How many times do we go down the shop and you see someone that's upset and that stays with you all day because we allow it to attach to us. So this is where if we don't want things to attach to us, we get that strong emotion and we're the one emitting it instead of receiving it. That's how we're winning this W-O-R with an A in the middle. Because the more we're kind to others, the more we appreciate and the more that we are loving and generous and gracious, the more we're winning this event. Because, you know, you look at what they did to us over the past two years. They had to keep us apart. Because that's our aura. That's our pheromone range. And if we're in a happy freaking mood, even if it's just, oh, I'm going to go and buy a new coffee. I'm so excited. I'm going down to the shop. I'm going to get a coffee. Because you know how great it feels when you're drinking that first sip of coffee of a morning. You think about it and you think, yeah, I want that coffee this day. Okay. Or anything else that you do. You think about your dinner. Think now, what are you having for dinner tomorrow night? Get excited about it. Oh, yeah, I might make a pizza for my daughter. She's a teenager, she'll love it. Oh, I just said the word love. 
now as I think, oh yeah, she likes her. She likes me putting on barbecue sauce on a pizza. You build that pizza with the meats and the other things, capsicum, onion, cheese. I even crack an egg over the top of my pizzas. Oh yeah, they turn out good, by the way. Put an egg on your top of your pizza when you make a pizza. Yum. So what happens? I'm creating that now. So for the rest of today, I'm going to have a great day. And then tomorrow when we're eating that pizza, it's, oh, I feel so damn good. Because when I feel good, other people feel it. When I don't feel good, when I'm sad and depressed and upset, other people feel that too. And they become what I'm feeling. So guys, whenever you get upset, don't freaking put it all over Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Don't say, oh, I'm having a bad day today. Because that's you being a victim. That's you wanting sympathy from other people to make you feel good. Don't do that. In fact, put it out there and say, I'm going to have a great day now. Because as soon as you recognize that you don't want to stay in that negativity and you want to be better in a better mood and you say, I'm going to have a great day today, you've already created the atmosphere. Oh my God, there's another word, atmosphere. So don't go on to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok or wherever you go you don't have to let people know how bad your lives are. We're all in the same situation. So as soon as you say, you know what? I'm going to spread this kindness to everybody. I want everybody today to feel happy. I want everybody today to be better than they were yesterday. Look how it's already building inside of me. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? That's a song. I love putting songs into my word. If you haven't noticed through my videos. But. No, now I'm singing that song. I'm singing it in my head now. Oh my God. Am I going to have a great day today? Oh, there goes my broken neck. I don't know if you heard that crack. You know I've got a broken neck, right? <laughs> I don't let that affect me. God, if I dwelled every day on the fact that I've got a broken neck, I would never get out of bed. Look at what I do in my life though. Because I don't let bad things affect me. Every day for me is an opportunity where I send out that ripple effect of kindness. So how can you be kind to other people? The best way is using our mouth. As you walk past a total stranger, give them a compliment. Make it a mission every day to compliment three strangers. And then you push yourself so you have to be nice to somebody who you don't even really ever want to talk to. Okay? Whenever I go down to the shop, I always compliment other people inside the shop, whether it's the workers or people buying groceries. I'll go up to someone standing in an aisle and I'll say, Oh, can you tell me what that food is? That looks so yummy. I'm really grateful that you've picked that out because I've always wanted to know what to do with it. How do you cook it? Ask their advice because that makes them feel great about who they are. So then they create this pheromone that emits to you and everybody else that they interact with as well. I go to the this cat food section and I talk to people in there and say, Oh, how old's your cat? thinking oh god I hope that they're not going to go home and eat that anyway because a lot of people do eat cat food because it's cheaper than normal food but even so I don't want that negativity out there so I say how old your cat what sort of cat you got mine's a fussy eater she doesn't eat this stuff she only wants that stuff but at least they know that I'm being nice to them as I'm going through the checkout I'll say to the guy next to me I'll say oh man I like your shoes where'd you get those I say, oh, have you, are you, are you, have you got a husband? I say, no, nah, I just appreciate what men wear. I like your shoes. I don't want to date you. I'm not asking you out. I'm just admiring your shoes. So it's not flirting. 
even though it could be interpreted as that, which it does a lot, because we're not used to complimenting each other. We're not used to being nice. The last two years, they want us to hate each other. Haven't you worked this out? They want us to be so far away from each other that we're not connected. And that's why now so many people are so disconnected. I watched a guy the other day. Oh, God. There's a row of shops. Parking bays. Then there's a road. And then there's more parking bays. There's all cars coming up and down the road. And this guy gets out of his car, doesn't even look. He just walks straight out over to the shops with his head up. And car goes beep. And he just looks at, and he, he gets this like startled look. Where were you, where did you come from? He's disconnected. He's not paying attention to where he is. He's, I don't know what brain fog he's got or whatever. Well, I do know what's doing it. <laughs> but I'm not allowed to say that. But everybody now, have you noticed it? They're so disconnected. Don't be one of those people. Stay aware of your surroundings. Stay in tune. Oh, in tune with the frequency of the energy and emotion of what you want to put out there to others. I always say a lot of sayings and stuff before I go out of my house. I've got to leave my house today. I've got to go out shopping. But I know today when I'm out at the shops, I'm going to compliment at least three people. At least three people. You pick up the most loveliest conversations with people. Last time I was out, um, there was a man at the pizza shop. He was on one of those ride-on wheelchairs, electric wheelchairs. And he was sitting there waiting for his dinner. I had the most loveliest conversation with him. And all I said was, wow, what a nice ride you've got. He said, oh, thank you. I've had this now for a year. I said, what type is this? My dad's in, got one of these now. We had the most loveliest conversation for about 20 minutes until this pizza came out. I probably made his day. He made my day. And if we can just make one person's day and make them feel good, so then they go and be nice to somebody else, isn't that worth fighting for? I hope it is. Because the ripple effect of kindness doesn't matter where you are on the planet. We've already proved it today that we don't have to be near each other to make each other feel good. As soon as we think of somebody else, we're already creating the dopamine level that emits out of us. It's a pheromone and others do feel it. Hope you all have a good day. Talk to you soon. Bye.